Okay, let's now go ahead and use the reduced row echelon form uh, from the class notes that we just went over. So first thing I need to do is I need to enter an augmented matrix. I go to second matrix. <clears throat> I choose the edit feature. And let's make the first matrix here a three by four. Remember the fourth column represents the augmented part. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter the coefficients. One half, 1.5, which is three halves, negative one, zero. Now we go to the next row, negative two, one, zero, four, one, 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 three. So one, 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 three. And there, those are the entries right there. All right, now how do we use reduced row echelon form? Well, let's go to quit and let's do second matrix. Choose the math feature. Now I'm going to scroll down, <clears throat> but once you know the number, you can just press the number. So reduced row echelon form is option B, <laughs> which isn't a number, by the way. So I'd actually have to do alpha B. So I'll do that, alpha B. There we go, reduced row echelon form. Now I need to grab my matrix A, so second matrix. Just choose A, close parenthesis, and boom. Now here are some decimals. These are the not answers. But I want them to make them look just like the fractions that we got. So if I go to the math feature and choose frac, which is option one, and then hit enter, it converts everything to fractions, and voila, this is exactly what we got in the class notes. So the solutions are x equals negative 14 thirteenths, y equals 24 thirteenths, and z equals 29 thirteenths. Uh, I chose this particular problem because I don't want you to get into the habit of thinking that solutions always have to be integers. They don't. They can be rational numbers. They can be irrational numbers. Uh, for our purposes, we probably won't have any irrational solutions in this class. But rational solutions, fractions, are perfectly viable answers. They're just realistic, and so that's why I chose this as the first example. God bless you, wherever you are today.